Can your iPhone start your car? Ah, our next guest can make that happen for you. He's marketing manager with Directed Electronics. Always a pleasure talking to the folks from Directed over the many years of Into Tomorrow. Chris Ferrick. Chris, welcome Into Tomorrow. How you doing? Fantastic. How are you doing? Pretty fine. Glad to have you with us. I have, from Directed, my last six cars have always had the capability of remote start. And people say, what, are you afraid somebody has a bomb in your car or something? Got remote? Yeah, okay, if that's what you think. Meanwhile, we live in Miami. Mm -hmm. I always love having the air conditioning exactly. on when I get in the car so I don't stick to the leather seats, you know, that kind yep. of thing. So I have always enjoyed Viper and those kinds of products from Directed to be able to remote start the car, and in many cases, being able to start it from the airport, it's parked in the extended lot, you know, when I get in the car, it's nice and cool. Those have been really advantageous. Now, if I had an iPhone, and I don't, mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one on our entire team that doesn't, but I don't, I'm sticking with the droid for now. Mm -hmm. But if I had an iPhone, I can, what, dial up my car and say, start, or roll the windows down, or hey, where are you, or what have you? Well, what it is, is it's the latest piece from Viper, and essentially it, it will replace your factory remote. So it's one less thing you have to carry around. What it is, it'll lock, unlock, uh, remote start, trunk pop, and panic your vehicle. Really? So it'll work on the iPhone, but not only the iPhone, but actually the iPod Touch. So nice. for those people that are dedicated that yeah. will not go to AT&T, we have a solution for them. If you've got an iPod Touch, and as we learned with an earlier interview, there's 24 million of those out there. So mm -hmm. there's a pretty good chance you have one. Yes. You could use your touch. Now, so you're not using the cellular network, no doubt. You utilize the Wi-Fi network through it. Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Now that's pretty cool. So tell us about how this whole Viper Smart Start does its job. So what it does is actually got two different configurations. Uh, when you have the iPhone, it actually utilizes the cell service and it utilizes the Wi-Fi also. Uh, having just the iPod Touch, you lose that aspect of the cell service. So your your total coverage area is actually restricted just a little bit. But if you're in major metro areas, not by much. Okay. Um, essentially, what it'll do is it'll ping the phone will ping the server, and the server will ping the vehicle. And there's actually a full Viper remote start or security system in, in the vehicle along with the actual smart start module. And how long does this take to happen for this pinging to be going on? Uh, from the second, from the moment that you actually hit the command on the phone to the vehicle, it's right now it's only about four seconds. Four, se four whole seconds. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> that's something that <laughs> I think. We're trying to trim it down a little yeah, more. Exactly. But. If we cut it down to three, I'd be really happy exactly. and I'd be a customer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's pretty cool. And then not, not only the remote start, but as I mentioned otherwise as well, opening a window, unlocking doors. I mean, you can do many functions. Right. There's this. a lot more functionality to it. We actually had uh, a vehicle at SEMA this year built by Mike Vu that had full automa automation on it. And when he unlocked, when he, when he hit unlock, the entire vehicle opened up through motorization. It was, it was really, really neat. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be your average application. It, it is not by many means. So, it, But this is at least one of the extreme cases that you know you can take this to the next level. Sure. Now, is there a monthly fee involved? In order uh, to actually, this? no. It's The first year is free. Every year after that, it's $30 a year. Just 30 bucks? Just 30 bucks. Able, okay. And, or, and what about just only on the iPhone right now? Uh, right now, it's only the iPhone. We're actually looking into expanding it into other platforms currently. Can you tell us any other platforms you might be working so, on? I promise right not now, to tell anyone. <laughs> right now, the number one uh, request is actually BlackBerry, but now that the Droid is out, I'm sure that's going to turn into number one. Yes, that's going to be number one, BlackBerry, a distant second. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one. <laughs> right, and then, and then whatever else there is. Yeah, oh, there's Windows Mobile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a thousand ways to go. At yeah. least we went with iPhone because it was just the fastest way to hit the masses. Oh, sure. But no doubt you're working on other things, which is mm -hmm. a great thing from a customer standpoint and a marketing standpoint, but obviously not everyone has exactly. an iPhone, right. th th as much as Apple wants to believe that. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Uh, and now, is this an app, then, that we're downloading after we've installed the Viper equipment in the car? Actually, which... you, can, you can download the app in advance. So okay. it's a free app that you can go to the App Store, download which it. just teases us, because you can't do it. That's exactly yeah, right. I see. So, so you can play with it and see if, you know, if the functionality and everything's right for you. And yeah. then you can go to a local Best Buy and have the whole system installed. Gotcha. So Best Buy or perhaps other car audio and uh, security installers? Well, currently, it's actually... Uh, an exclusive piece at Best Buy. Uh, ooh, very good. Any plans to open that up too? I mean, there's probably a Best Buy nearby anybody. Yeah, but, it's pretty much by everyone. So, that, yeah. but Best Buy is is okay. the source for it currently. Right. And what are we talking dollar wise for the system itself? If you have an installed? existing Viper system, uh, existing Viper sur uh, Supercode system, it's two ninety nine installed. Okay. Uh, if it's a fresh install, if you don't have anything in the vehicle, it's four ninety nine installed. Okay, very good. And and why do you find that most people want to remote start their car? I mean, I've told you for me, it's it's for it's for 
air conditioning. I guess during the winter up north here in New York, it would be to start heating the car. And that's exactly it. I've lived in both extremes. Yeah. Uh, prior to Directed, I actually used to live in Chicago. Uh -huh. So having that... Those frigid 20 below uh, winters. Can't, see, I, I can't, I can't relate to that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Usually with me, it's just get the air conditioning on. It's so hot. Exactly. Right. And then moving to Southern California, it's the pure opposite, as you said. It's just wow. cooling the vehicle down. It's certainly from one extreme to another. Absolutely. But then there are many reasons. It might even just be the coolness factor, which mm -hmm. is also cool in a parking lot. Yes. You know, you go out to, from the mall, and then people are always jumping back. There's nobody in the car. That's, right. it That's just the fun side of it. <laughs> exactly. See, there are at least two or three main reasons why you always. want to remote start your car. Do check out viper.com slash smart start, and especially if you have an iPhone. Actually, only if you have an iPhone at the moment, but rumor has it that Chris is going to inform us when other platforms, Android, become available soon, BlackBerry, <laughs> etc. You'll let us know, but it's a very cool thing you got going there, and, and kudos to you guys for coming up with an, another novel, unique thing to help consumers. Thank you much. It's our pleasure. Again, viper.com slash smart start. Swing by intotomorrow.com. Check out the video of all of our guests on today's program, and we'll take it from there. Back with more from New York, I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on, you guessed it, the Advanced Media Network.